friends, welcome back to Carrie's Culinary Crafts, and welcome if you are new. Um, here on Carrie's Culinary Crafts, we talk about all things food. And today, in the premiere video, I am just doing a few uh, simple recipes. And this first one that I'm putting together is just a quick... Um, buffalo chicken dip. I have this buffalo chicken here that I had marinated back if, uh, several weeks ago whenever I was um, doing a bunch of marinated meats that I stuck in the freezer. So I just pulled that out the night before, thawed that out, and dumped it into my crock pot. And to that I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more hot sauce. Uh, it is just my husband and I uh, today, so I thought I would just go ahead and kick it up a little bit more because we like things spicy. And then we'll go ahead and add in, there's a little bit of this ranch that was in the refrigerator, so I'm going to go ahead and empty that out. Normally I would put my homemade, uh, my DIY powdered ranch in there, but since there was a little bit left, I just went ahead and dumped that in. My son is a ranch kid and goes through ranch like crazy. So not only do I, you know, make the homemade stuff, um, but I also make sure that I have bottles of ranch for him because uh, he just dips everything into ranch. So, and then with that one, then I'm going to add in one block of cream cheese and I am going to squeeze the juice of one lemon into this as well. And then I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in and put it, um, I'm going to put it on high uh, for now just because I kind of thought about doing this a, a little bit late in the day, so I want to make sure that it is done whenever my husband is done with his work. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and we will cook it on high for a few hours and then I will use um, an emulsion blender or you can use like two forks and pull apart all that chicken to kind of shred it up. Okay, now the the buffalo chicken dip is pretty much ready. Um, it's, what time is it now? It's 3.04 and I did it at 12.30 and I put it on high. Just went over and checked it and stirred it and it is all bubbling and all that good stuff. So it is done. So I went ahead and turned it on to low and I'm cutting up some green onions and I'm just adding this to the top and to mix in with it just to have, you know, some extra flavor in there because I didn't put anything else in it. I mean, I just made this basic. I didn't put any spices in it. Um, you definitely, you don't need salt in it because you're putting in that hot sauce, which has uh, saltiness to it. Um, and I didn't put any pepper in it because again, the hot sauce is spicy. So I, I really, I didn't add anything other than that lemon juice in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, two green onions into it and then whenever anybody is ready to eat it is all done so I'll take you over there with me as I add in these onions and you can see what the finished product looks like okay and here is neat stirred but here is the buffalo chicken dip I'm gonna go ahead and put a handful on that. I saved a small handful that I can put on toward the end whenever it's time to go ahead and everybody eat it up. But, and here I have, um, we're gonna have it with tortilla chips and I also have some garlic herb bread that I am going to toast up and they'll make for nice like crostinis to uh, to have with this as well. But there you go, friends. There is 
buffalo chicken dip. Super easy, super delicious. Here I made some simple BLTs, some uh, green beans and wax beans, and some mac and cheese. And here is, uh, it's very early in the morning. As you can see, I've got a, a little hoodie on there because it's it was really chilly this morning. But I went ahead and toasted up some um, whole grain bread and I'm adding just a little bit of mayonnaise on that. And in the previous video, I made um, a breakfast casserole and there was a few pieces left over that we would be having for the next two days um, for breakfast. So I am just using a piece of that and making a sandwich with it. So there is my breakfast casserole. And let's see, did I put anything else on it? I don't know if I put any, did I put any cheese on it? Nope. Just put the top on it and cut it in half. And that was my breakfast sandwich. And here is my first haul of tomatoes. Don't they look beautiful? I am so glad my tomatoes are finally coming in. And with some of those tomatoes, I'm going to go ahead and make one of my favorite salads, which is the Greek salad, where it uses cucumbers, tomatoes, red onion, and feta cheese, along with gazebo room Greek salad dressing. Uh, this is uh, during the weekend when my son and husband uh, went to a New York Mets baseball game. So I'm home alone. So I'm kind of making a nice big salad that I could have for the entire weekend. And then I'm also going to put a little bit into a nice little bowl to give to my mom as well.
Ooh, baby. Here is my new stray cat. Rescue. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> So that makes three now. All three of my cats are, are stray cat rescues. This one um, I just brought in yesterday. So I need to take her to the vet and make sure she gets her shots and treated for fleas, which I've checked. I haven't found any, but still want her treated just because she's been outside all summer long. And uh, and then get her fixed. Now she is a kitten, but she is uh, definitely big enough that she could have kittens. So before she goes into heat, I wanna make sure that I can get her to the vet and get her fixed. And so far, so good. Um, every time that we tried introducing a third cat in with the other two, it never went very well. But so far, so good with this one. Um, there was a little hissing the first day, but for the most part, um, they are, they're okay. They'll just keep a little bit of distance from each other. Now the new kitten, she wants to play with the others. The others are just not quite sure about her yet. Um, but I think they're gonna be fine because I've been working downstairs all day today and they all three been on the same floor. And usually when there's an issue, my one will go the whole way up to the third floor, hide under my son's bed. And then my other one will hide under our bed on the second floor. Um, but so far, so far so good. I had a lot of tomatoes from the garden, so I went ahead and made my favorite salad. And nobody is home this weekend. My son and husband are with my husband's brother at a Mets game in New York City. So I am making myself my favorite salad and a big one so I could just eat it all weekend long and of course the one and only Greek dressing that I will use and so should you gazebo room Greek dressing feta cucumbers tomatoes and red onions make up this Greek set I'm gonna see my mom a little bit later. We're going out for dinner and I will give her some of this as well. But for now, I will give myself a lunch portion. Oh, I did forget salt. Always needs a little bit of salt. And we'll do some pepper too.
nice big salad for lunch. Then it'll tie me over till my mom and I go for for dinner. And I will give her a little bit as well. Just for you, Mom. We got our jerk chicken cooking on the grill and zucchini, yellow squash, and eggplant. Uh, some corn is also in there, and with my garlic herb butter. And we are also having riced cauliflower. <laughs> 